welcome to our channel, motherfuckers. Hey, I am Iloho and Pigacorn. Say what up, Pigga. Yo, what up? Happy 80 degrees, okay? It is 80 degrees in New York, honestly. Like, we've been waiting forever for the weather to break, and it will break a little bit, but then fix, and then break a little bit, go back to cold. And I know I dress like it's 80 degrees, but it really be like 20 degrees outside. Like, it really do. I just got good heat, that's it. Actually waiting for my um, 100K plaque to come in the mail. I actually didn't even order it yet. I don't know, it's a whole process. So I have to order it, and then when it comes in, the 100K, oops. The 100k plaque will sit up here. Once again, thank you all of my unicorns, my day ones, my day nows, and everybody in between, okay? Ain't no favoritisms up in here. It's all love for everybody. You are all appreciated. Honey, she is shining, shining. I want to come on here and talk about something that I saw on Instagram that triggered the shit out of me. Like, I just don't. I was just like, wait, what? And being that a lot of you guys are so young and so impressionable, I wanted to come on here and talk about this. And it is body image. And this is something, you know, the world just has like this big microscope on women and they tell us how we should look how we should dress how our body should be how many sexual partners we're allowed to have we're just always under this magnifying glass in which the standard is always shifting it's always changing and if you listen to the powers that be you'll kind of drive yourself crazy and you'll never love yourself you understand so i wanted to do this video share some body positivity with you guys and talk about some things that i've noticed that i really don't like and i really don't agree with it does impact us as women my sister actually said Sent me this app so shout out to Matare my sister sent me this and I was just like excuse me <laughs> check this out So this company was promoting this app that will, what, make you look better? Basically, it's pretty much like a Photoshop app. And they're saying, you know, you can go from looking like this to looking like this. It's supposed to be the same girl that after she goes through editing her photos with their app, she will now look like this. This is very problematic and very dysfunctional to me in so many ways. Like what? First of all, first of all, first of all, girls. And this is why these little sponsored Instagram shit that be popping up, I really don't like it. There's an agenda and the agenda is to make you hate yourself. And I'm sick of this agenda that's supposed to make women hate ourselves to send this image that you know, only this is beautiful. And if your body is not like this, if your waist is not snatched to the gods and your ass ain't from here to there, then you are not beautiful. And you need to download this app so that you can look like these girls or you need to go under the knife so that you can look like these girls in order to be beautiful. And that's fucking ridiculous. So now let's dissect this a little bit. First of all, so I'm looking at this app and I'm looking at the transformation from, uh, she's okay to yes, she's popping. She's an Instagram baddie. And a few things that this app is supposedly changed, right? For one, they changed her weight. She went from a nice thick girl. How most thick women look, you know, when you're thick, you're usually thick everywhere. Like, you know, your stomach is a little thick. Your legs are a little thick. Your booty a little thick. You know, you might not always be quote unquote proportionate to what they call slim thick. The tiny waist and then, you know, the round hips. So she went from that to that. And then she went from dark skin to kind of like a brown skin shade. Colorism jumped out. I don't know if that word, if that's a real word, fat phobia. I kind of don't like that word. I don't know. I just don't like it. But anyways, if that's a thing and people use it, fine. But like the fat phobia jumped out, the colorism jumped out, and it's just like, are y'all dead ass? And nine times out of ten, this is an Asian company. It's either an Asian or a white company that's promoting this fucking um app. So this is the message that they're trying to send to predominantly black and women of color. No. I completely get it. We're women. We want to be snatched, honey. We want to be on fleek. We want to be on point. We want our hair to look good, our skin to look good, our makeup to look good, the fits to look good. All of that. I'm all for all of that. Y'all know I come through with the list effects. And the thing, okay? I'm all for all of that. But what you're not going to do is push an app and say, this is not beautiful. This is what's beautiful. What's beautiful is what you make to be beautiful. Not an app tells you is beautiful. Ooh. What message are you sending? Are you saying because she's dark skinned and she's pleasantly plump? That's not good enough? 
Is being dark skinned and pleasantly plump not good enough? Do I have to now bleach myself and go through and go under the knife to be beautiful? They're literally brainwashing young people to feel like this is how I'm supposed to look. This is what beauty is when beauty comes in so many variations, okay? It does. And you cannot tell someone that they're not beautiful just because they don't look like the the typical Instagram model. We're not even gonna go into Instagram models right now because I ain't trying to shame on them either but a lot of them also push a very negative message and are not real with their followers now shout out to the instagram models that are real with their followers shout out to y'all but these motherfuckers that be out here just <laughs> pushing this and out <laughs> no i don't care i don't care for none of that i don't Pico don't care either like so i'm reading the comments because i'm like this is crazy but the gag is if you zoom into the first one, the one that's supposed to be the ugly girl, when you zoom into the ugly version of yourself, first of all, if you look at the shadow, it's like, hold on. This chick was never this size to begin with. Y'all photoshopped her to look like this. Just to say that your app will make you look like the after. Now, I went and searched for the after girls page, and that's how she looks before. So, I'm like, yo, this is ridiculous. Like, I gotta call this shit out. Because these companies is out here. Fugazi, fraud, swindle, it ain't right. So, y'all took somebody who was... <laughs> Yo, and I could just imagine all the impressionable young people that are just like, oh, damn, you know, and that, that image might stick in their mind. Like, oh, you know, I need to change this about myself. I need to do this. I need to do that. Let me get this app to make myself look better. Girl, bye. Like, she was already, she already looked like that in the first place. And even if she didn't look like that in the first place, no brand has the right to manipulate how they look to benefit themselves. Honestly, I'm canceling all these little sponsored ass. I cancel something, I stick to the I stick to the cancel unless I see that, oh, it's actually made a difference. I'm not one of those people that will cancel and then two seconds go back to it. Y'all see how all y'all canceled James Charles and then went back and subscribed back to him? No, when I canceled him from the Ebola shit, I left him in the Ebola shit, like I said. So anywho, for me, it's legit. So I don't know about all the other people that be canceling and I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I was just really triggered by that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And I just feel like we live in a day and age where people are literally starting to look the same. And it's because there's only one image that's being pushed forward. It's ridiculous. It's unrealistic. It's sad. And at the end of the day, do you, regardless of what you do, what you put on, how you change yourself, do you love yourself at the end of the day? That's really all that freaking matters. Are you healthy? okay i actually need to take my vitamins right now you have the big women who feel like they need to be skinny you have the skinny women that feel like they need to be bigger end of the day it's like these images to me they're just so toxic you know the fashion over girls it's just like this is not how people look if you do look like that that's fine but that's not the only image that should be pushed shoved down our throat well damn do i need a fucking huge ass in a tiny waist because everybody else got one and then i always think back to what my mama said you have your own mind don't follow others. Be one of a kind. Love yourself at all. I love my mommy. <laughs> it's just dysfunctional. It's creepy to me. Keep that shit off my news feed. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this situation. Of this company changing this girl to make her look quote unquote unattractive or ugly. And then posting her as a after which is really her before. Am I confusing? Like do y'all get what I'm trying to say? You'll get it when you see the video. You'll, you'll get it. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. It's a hot ass day. I'm about to go outside and take some pics for the gram. Yes, I am. And I'm not using that goddamn app, okay? Period, poop. I'll see you at the next one. Bye. Later, baby.